What's up you guys? It's your favorite girl, Amani Jelena, and as you can see from the title, this video is going to be all about vendors. Whether you have a hair company, a lash company, a boutique, shoe boutique, whatever you have going on, you need a vendor. And finding a vendor is one of the hardest things to master. And once you find a vendor, the vendor hunt never stops because there's always time to find another vendor that's even better than your old vendor. I have a hair company by the name Allure96 and finding a vendor in the beginning was so tedious and it was so money consuming because it was so it got so expensive purchasing from different vendors and then finding a good vendor and then paying for shipping it, it, it became so expensive but of course I eventually found my go-to vendor that I've been working with ever since but now for some of you guys, a lot of people don't have tons of money to just spend or thousands of dollars to uh, spend on sampling hair and seeing what's good and what's not good. So for those of you who want to legit bypass all of that crazy, yeah, crazy vendor search, definitely go ahead and check the description box because I do have two, not one, but two vendor lists available for you guys. My first vendor list has four vendors on it. Um, and then my second vendor li vendors list has uh, three vendors on it. So definitely go ahead and you can look below to see the difference of each vendor list and what you get with each one. And then make the best decision what suits you and your business better. On to the video. So like I said, finding a vendor is super hard. But with my tips and tricks that I'm about to give you guys, it'll make it a little bit easier to finding a consistent vendor or finding, you know, what works for you. I'm going to give you guys some tips on finding a great vendor and ways you can find them and places you can go that you can find them as well. How I personally found all of my vendors is through Instagram. Instagram is your best friend when it comes to reaching the world. If you guys do not know, Instagram has about 500 million users and 300 million gets on the websites every single day. So utilize Instagram to the best of your abilities. If it was my decision to pick Instagram over Google, I would definitely say Instagram. Instagram is just an amazing outlet to finding and connecting with different resources and people as well. So utilize Instagram to the best of your abilities. Now, when I say utilize Instagram, I mean go into Instagram and search their database for vendors. And some key words that you can use, and I'll also leave it in the description box for you, that you can search to finding good vendors or finding vendors and then weaving out the good and the bad. Uh, so some things that you can put into Instagram is virgin hair vendors, raw hair vendors, Burmese vendors, US vendors. You can you can put so much into um, the hashtag option in Instagram search engine to uh, finding vendors. So that's my biggest tip to finding a vendor. Now, once you find a vendor, there are questions that you and your vendor need to establish and things that you need to know and things that your vendor needs to know and so forth. So when you are on the hunt for a vendor, some, some amazing questions that you can ask your vendor is, do they change their price list often? Uh, you, you then need to ask them for a consistent price list of every single thing they offer. Some other questions that you can ask is, how do they construct the wefts? Are there synthetic fibers in their hair? Have they ever had issues with lice? Do they offer custom packaging or custom boxes or hang tags or bundle wraps or satin bags that you can purchase? Have they gotten excessive complaints? Uh, you can also ask them, will they let you tour their uh, facility or their factory through video chat? You can also ask to see the physical product through video chat. Um, those are some things that you can ask them and see what they say. Uh, all the vendors that I personally work with, they don't really have an issue with showing you what's going on behind the scenes or how the product is actually made or constructed. Uh, so if you are, you know, running into a wall with a vendor and a vendor is giving you a hard time with kind of showing you the product and, you know, showing you what's going on behind the scene, I would say don't put all your eggs in that one basket then. Because if they're, uh, they should be more than welcome to show you any and everything you want to want to see as far as doing business with them um so that's the thing so you have questions to ask you can search them on instagram you can also search vendors on google one thing i will definitely say stay away from sites like aliexpress alibaba dh gates those type of um ebay i like to call it sites uh just due to the fact that 
me personally, I've had more bad than good from those sites. Um, and then in my opinion, when you're picking your vendor, you want to have someone exclusive. You don't want to have someone that anyone else can purchase from. Um, so finding a vendor that for one only sends out product wholesale, it's beneficial to you just because you know, they can't find find your vendor on like an AliExpress or a DH Gates or anything like that. And it brings more exclusiveness to your brand. And then, you know, it makes people purchase from you more because they can't find that product anywhere else. Uh, some other tips to finding a good vendor is, like I said in the at first, finding a vendor that has a consistent price list. Some vendors <laughs> that I've, you know, had my fair share with, they like to change their prices frequently. Uh, and that's not beneficial to a business owner because when their prices change your prices have to change to accommodate and you know accommodate the difference so you can profit what you're supposed to profit like it's so much that goes into it um so definitely ask them and then make sure they can supply a structured chart or you know an email or what however they do it as far as getting uh those prices sent over to you and your team and if they say like hey we change our prices every six months once a year that's awesome but if they change prices like the season changes then they're probably not going to be consistent with you uh, and you'll probably end up finding yourself working a lot harder to fix prices and things like that um, as they change theirs and then another cool tip and the last tip uh, to finding the perfect vendor for you is if they have active pictures and or an active website um, if they some Instagram users or Instagram distributors or vendors or whatever you want to call it, they only utilize Instagram. But then there are some vendors who has an Instagram and then also a website. Uh, if they have a website, A+, plus, I love vendors with website because it shows me how organized they are and how serious about their business they are. But if they only have an Instagram, just make sure they're uploading, you know, regularly and you can kind of see the product. But the only thing is when finding a vendor, it's hard to know when you have the right vendor because you can't look at reviews. A lot of people who uh, work with factories and redistribute hair and resell hair from factories, they're not going to be too gun ho to share that information. Allure 96. Allure 96's vendor, you would never in life see me write a review on Google or write a review on their Instagram page or write a review on um on my youtube about working with them just because they're exclusive for me so if you don't find any reviews on a particular vendor that you're looking into no worries i would definitely say just go ahead and purchase sample orders from that vendor and see how you like it and then once you do purchase the sample orders test the hair thoroughly and when i say test the hair thoroughly I mean go ahead and wash the hair basically tangle the hair and see how it reacts you're basically going to purchase sample sample bundles of the hair to basically destroy them to see how much they can withhold and how good they are and if they're going to shed a lot and so forth but if you guys have any additional questions about finding a vendor and things like that go ahead and shoot me an email my email will be right below um and then if you guys want to bypass all of this allure 96 which is my company of course has a wholesale and then a drop shipping program as well that you can look into and all that information will be in the description box our drop shipping program is only $19.99 a month which is dirt cheap literally um and yeah you can uh, do your research with that so i love each and every one of you guys and if you guys have other any other information or news or requests video requests that you want to submit in you can leave it in the comment section or shoot me an email so i love you guys and i'll see you guys in my next video bye